Cleavages are planes of weaknesses along which a mineral will split preferentially. Some minerals, like micas, like this mineral, have only one plane of weakness, or one cleavage. That's what those thin parallel lines are. Other minerals, like amphiboles and pyroxenes, have two. The angles that cleavages make and the orientation of the cleavage when the mineral is extinct in cross polars can be used to identify minerals. This is an amphibole, gedrite, and it has characteristic 6120 cleavage. So if you look at that central grain, not just the outermost edges, but also the internal lines are parallel to each other and intersect at an angle of 120 and 60 degrees. Clinopyroxenes have cleavages that are oriented approximately perpendicular to each other or 90 degrees apart. This is an end section of clinopyroxene showing those cleavages. They're not as well developed as an amphibole. Feldspars rarely show cleavage, but if you have a badly made thin section, then sometimes a couple of cleavages will show up. This is a feldspar grain in a not very well made section. This is the edge of the section, that's epoxy, is the black all around it. And you can see that there are two cleavages, two sets of parallel lines uh, that intersect each other. And those are the cleavages of the feldspar. Kyanite has a cleavage that runs parallel to the length of the prisms, those are the thin lines, and it has parting, which are the short, fat lines that are at an angle to that. There's muscovite in this as well, that's the green mineral up at the top, and you can see a couple of cleavage planes there, very thin lines parallel to each other, and muscovite goes extinct when those cleavages are approximately parallel to the crosshairs. Biotite, another mica, has one good cleavage. Those are the very thin lines that are approximately parallel to the long axis of this brown crystal. Cross the polars, and you'll see that the mineral goes extinct as black when those lines are approximately parallel to the crosshairs. Sometimes mica grains are oriented such that you can't see cleavage planes, and in those instances, they can have unusual optical characteristics. Here, muscovite is in the center, and there's a pale green chlorite crystal that's off to one side. These both have one very good cleavage. The cleavage lines are very faint, but they're also distinctive. Two different minerals here. The lighter colored one with the faint lines is wollastonite. The green mineral with the two dark lines, the two dark cleavages, is clinopyroxene. The clinopyroxene is at an angle so that the cleavages look like they don't intersect at 90 degrees. The wollastonite goes extinct when the cleavage is at a slight angle to the crosshairs, so it has inclined extinction. Some minerals don't have cleavage. This is an apatite crystal, and you can see some fractures that are perpendicular to the long axis of the grain, but they're not regularly oriented, so they can't be cleavages. And here is a garnet that has been blown apart when coesite inverted to quartz, and you can see those fractures don't have any preferred orientation. They, they radiate outward from the center. You can tell from this that garnet doesn't have cleavage. 